I don't know why on the top of my head right now. Um, why is it bad to do drugs? Because um, if you don't love yourself, don't don't do that. Don't smoke God's herb and be obsessed with it and be a lazy asshole. And you know, the only thing that's wrong with pot, God's herb, is smoking it every day. And you don't do anything. The wrong concept with drugs is, uh, you feel good, which is not bad. So it's, uh, right. I always said, um, uh, Satan doesn't want you high. Satan wants you suicidal. Satan doesn't want you high. Um, it's good to be high, but not. If, uh, you know, you don't do anything, you just veg out and, and pass out or, you know, uh, yeah, getting drunk blacked out was, like, my worst enemy of all. You know, my bad. What I did wrong. And, um, <clears throat> it would be okay... People always put that, oh, cocaine's a hard drug. You know, well, I did a line in 1988 and I was high for an hour. Well, what would be wrong with doing that once a month? And that, don't even trust any street. Don't even bother. When they start putting formaldehyde in God's herb pot, hey, that's a good time to quit. What the hell? Put all this fucking hell in the fucking drugs. Uh, unfortunately, um, <clears throat> a total piece of shit. My ex, one of the worst exes I ever had, um, he did meth, unfortunately, like, for six months, but the last meth I did was a bad batch, and somebody said, oh, that's fentanyl, oh, God, I went totally insane, almost, but I, he said, you just have to wait until it wears off, so, like, oh, my God, ah, you, you. They put fentanyl in your shit. I, mean, I, you know, I barely ever did drugs. You know, I never did heroin. In fact, I have a uh, video of my kids saying, you know, I ain't know the difference between cocaine and heroin. So, I was lied about viciously by total assholes. Oh, oh yeah, I'm a major drug addict. Oh, 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 I'm popping vitamins. Like, I'm taking all these pills. It's making it sound like I'm doing drugs. But if you really think about vitamins, that's the best drugs that you can take to be healthy. So, why drugs are bad is because people are bad. And they abuse them. Yeah, they, but don't even do any drugs today. You don't even know what the fuck's in it. Forget that. God. But the line of cocaine probably have a fucking fentanyl on it, and I want to die for two days. So. <laughs> like. No, no, no. I don't even, like. Um. I thought I was a meanie with drugs. I was never. How much of a drug addict? Um. I would have tested to see if the drug was there. I, I don't I'm not. Yeah. I'm not interested. I'm content and happy on my own. I don't need drugs. But if you don't love yourself, you don't need them either. But it just, nobody loves themselves. The only people, the reason why people do drugs is to feel good. I like that one guy that did high times. He was a drug he was a pot dealer, like the father of my two children. And, and then he stopped. Like, why? I mean, it's okay, I guess. It, 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 you know, it, I, don't, I don't have access to anything. I'd have to grow my own God's herb and God's cocaine and interbreed them together. And I know some rich person did that already. I would have had to. They can do whatever they want. I never had access. So, you know, I don't... I'm in garden, can't grow my own pot. And then, you know, 
Everything's poisoned right now. The ground temperature. <laughs> Let's just forget it. This plant's done real soon. A lot sooner than 2030. It's really going to be bad. How, how you know, like, it's not going to all wrap up real soon. One day is a thousand years, a thousand years is one day. Do not think God's slow. He's waiting for his last to repent. That comes back as a thief in the night and destroys this earth and fire and creates a new heavens and a new earth with no wrong on it. No diseases, no wrong, no insane narcissist trying to kill you. Steal, kill, and destroy. That's the whole problem with this horrifying earth. Honor your mother and father when they're narcissists. Get out of here. I was really uh, confused with a person who said both of his parents were narcissists and he bought his mom a brand new car. Like, I'm not doing anything for the narcissist in my life. Like, I was thinking about seeing my so called girlfriend in the trailer park. Like, why would I bother? You know, she's would be more jealous of me now because I might, you know, I feel more better about myself. The better I feel about myself, the more she'll attack me. And you just think you you got it all. Like, no, I'm just happy and content. And she's not. She's miserable. Watching her me TV all day. Oh, I'm just a simple, nice person. No, she's not. That's why I person that stays with her doesn't pay rent because she's rotten rotten she used to bring over a guy for God. and uh if you if you like she's awful yeah you know, she's a, a horrible ugly old hag bitch and she admitted to being an ugly old hag bitch and he's just laughing he's like oh my god she's submitting to it so that's, that was the cool thing about her. Sometimes, you know, people admit the truth. Now, pretend a lot narcissist is never admitted to one thing that he's ever done wrong. And that's, that is super evil. He's just, ah, you know, that's why I said, you know, he's Satan himself. Just awful. And, of course, you know, I, for, for all these people... They were horrifying in my life. They did nothing for me. Nothing. I never got anything from them. Except they, yeah, they made me almost go insane and make me want to kill myself. That's, they made me want to die. All of them. Should have stopped by now. Um, 